He classes the quick version of photosynthesis and cellular respiration and their connection to one, one another. This will be pretty fast, so pay attention. We first have photosynthesis. This is where energy from the sun, water, and carbon dioxide all go into a plant and are transformed into a substance called glucose and oxygen. Now, glu glucose is just a fancy word for sugar and oxygen is what we breathe. So this glucose gets stored for later and the oxygen is released into the atmosphere. Okay. Now this process happens in the chloroplasts of, in the leaves, which if you remember chloroplasts are organelles from inside of plants and they're also green and that's what makes plants green. So next we have cellular respiration. Now this is where glucose, the sugar, and oxygen go in and water, carbon dioxide, and ATP are made. Now we really like this ATP because it's what makes our cells do their jobs, okay? From our muscles to our brain cells, ATP is used in all of them, okay? Now this happens in the mitochondria. This whole process happens in the mitochondria in all eukaryotic cells. So don't forget that this process also happens in plants, okay? Not just animals. Okay, so the connection between the two, as you can probably see, photosynthesis makes everything for cellular respiration. Okay, photosynthesis makes oxygen and glucose, which are required for cellular respiration. And respiration provides everything for photosynthesis, except the sunlight. Okay, so respiration makes the CO2 and the water, which plants need to do photosynthesis. Okay, it's one big circle. Okay. Plants and animals and plants and animals, they're all connected through these two chemical reactions.